Hi Eric, good morning. This is Ben Francia. In this short video, I'll explain to you the proposed internet marketing plan for your company, for your website. Now, after doing a little bit of market research, uh, competition research, keyword research on the net, we came up with this proposed uh, approach. Let me discuss first uh, the market potential before I dive in into the actual uh, internet marketing campaign. You know what? I found out that there are about 4 million babies born in the U.S. every year. Wow. So that's huge. And I'm sure every baby of that 4 million would need a baby shoe. Did a little bit of keyword research as well using Google's keyword research tool. Um, used the initial keyword of personalized baby shoes. Now I found out that there are about a thousand people searching for the keyword personalized baby shoes on Google every month. That's a thousand global searches a month, 720 of which are searches done by people in the US. Now that doesn't just mean that this is only the market for your product since there are other relevant keywords also that can be used. Now here are some of the short tail, long tail keywords that we've, we've seen that are highly relevant to searches based on um, your product. And if we are to find the total, it's about 5,187,960 global searches. That's a total of over 5 million global searches done on Google alone. Now, now we're not even counting searches done on the other search engines. And 60% of this are searches done in the US. Now this, as you can see, is the kind of volume of business, of sales, of products that we are currently missing out. Also, let me talk about your target market, a little market profile. Those people who would really buy, or most of the people who will really buy these kind of shoes for keepsake, for gifts, which is simply baby shoes for their kids. It would usually be moms, women, 23 years old and up. Normally, these are our women who are in marrying age, 26 years old and up, or based in the US, and are peers of women who would have babies. These normally are women who attend baby showers. Now, let me discuss the internet marketing approach that we'll be using. There are actually just three steps, three basic steps for us to get those sales. Number one, get out there and get found. Number two, engage. And number three, follow up. When I say get out there and get found, it means being out there and being present in all the social media channels and all the online channels and places where your customers hang out. When I say getting out there and get found, also making sure that we are visible in the search engines, making sure that whenever those 5 million global searches are done, our websites show up on the Google search results. It is also setting up places or profiles in all the social media places like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest. It's also setting up setting up also our own blog because all of these, these are where our target customers are hanging out. Engagement. Engagement here means developing a relationship with your target customers that is built on trust. This means being there for them and letting them feel that you are there not just to sell them a product or service. Engagement means providing them value by giving them answers to their questions and solutions to their problems. It means providing high value content without expectation of, of compensation. Now, once people feel uh, your sincerity and intention to help them, they start trusting you. And once people trusting you, earning their business would be just a piece of cake. Now, last step would be follow-up. Follow-up entails having your own mailing list. Now, I know that you have your own mailing list already, but I'm not sure what activity have you done so far with that mailing list. It has been said by all internet marketers and all marketing professionals online that the money is in the list. You may lose your store, your product, your website. As long as you have your list, a list that you have a relationship with, you'll continue to be in business. Continue nurturing this list and develop a trusting relationship with this list by continually providing them valuable content. Again, the content that we'll be sending in the mailing list is really not intended to sell. No, the best, the best way to burn your list is to keep sending them offers. That's why we won't do that. We'll be continually sending them you know, tips, information, probably tutorials, as long as information is something valuable to them, something that they can use. Now it is also important, Eric, uh, before we even 
set up all these social media profiles, setting up the blog and all these online properties. It's important that we decide, understand, and be in agreement on what would be the type of content that we'll be publishing on these channels. What will be the centralized theme, the centralized message that we wish to convey online. Because in all these channels, the content that we'll be producing, that we'll be publishing, will be king. Um, 80%, I would say, of the effort would be would entail creating and publishing content. Now, we've also done a little bit of research. Of course, the content should be highly relevant to the products that you are selling on your website. So you're, since you're selling personalized baby shoes uh, for keepsake, some of the topics that we've identified are pre-walker shoes, baby gift shoes, keepsake shoes, shoe sizes, baby foot care, infant shoes, toddler shoes, uh, baby showers. Now these are some of the topics that we can talk about in the blog, in the social media channels, because these are content or information that um, your target customers are looking for online. So it's really just a matter of giving what the market is looking for, because definitely these people aren't, most of them at least, aren't there just to purchase. And our goal here is to give them what they need, develop a relationship with them, by the time they need the shoes for kids or for babies, will be the one on the top of their head. Also, aside from the articles that we'll be publishing, we'll be also creating and publishing other types of content like videos, photos, graphics. Now, let me discuss the different channels and properties that we'll be creating and where we'll be publishing content on. First and foremost, of course, a blog. Right now, there are more than 160 million blogs out there and 34 percent of which talk about products and brands and make recommendations to peers people visit blogs because they find unbiased recommendations on blogs because blogs are really non selling environments so that's what we'll do we'll create a blog that really isn't intended to sell we'll create a blog that is just out there to give honest opinion about products. We won't be uh, directly talking about products. We'll be talking about the issues, you know, the questions and the problems, and all of these topics that our market is interested in that are at the same time highly relevant to our product. So we'll be publishing regular articles on the blog about those. We'll be creating a Facebook page. Now for Facebook, there right now there are about 900 million users on Facebook. 149 million of which are already in the US. Now you know everybody is on Facebook. Our market is there although they're not there really to to buy anything. They're there to socialize, to connect with friends, with family and since they're there to do that, we'll be there to do that as well. On Facebook we'll be sharing them content, photos, videos, and also articles from the blog and engage in there. YouTube. YouTube right now is considered as the second largest search engine. Why? Because people go to Facebook not just to get entertained or watch some funny video or something. People go to YouTube to find solutions, to find answers. Solution has been a portal for how-to tutorials and stuff. So we'll be on YouTube as well. We'll make sure that we are present on YouTube and we publish content on YouTube that answers the questions and give solutions to the problems of our target customers. Twitter. Right now, there are 140 million users of Twitter, 107 of which are in the US. So we'll do the same there. We'll just be there and answer their questions and give them content. Now lastly, Pinterest. Pinterest is a newcomer but has been gaining popularity real fast. Right now, it's overtaken YouTube and Twitter in terms of delivering or generating traffic to websites you believe that considering that it only has about 11 million over 11 million users still last part of the campaign the last step would be the follow-up follow-up here means continually engaging your customers over time by providing them high value content when i say high value content i mean content that are highly shareable you know it is when you you know see a video and it's easy for you. You're really compelled to share this video to somebody you know you feel will benefit the most from it. I'm talking about this kind of content. 
Now we will continue to provide this type of content to them on the social media channels on the blog and Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and Pinterest. But on top of that, we'll be creating a mailing list. Now mailing list is not your traditional newsletter. This is where we store all the email addresses of all our not only people who have purchased from us already but especially those people especially those people who haven't really purchased anything from us yet imagine all those people who have been visiting us in our channels we build a community we gather email addresses and continually nur to nurture this list of email addresses by continually sending them valuable content directly to their inbox we'll be creating autoresponder series these are you know a set of emails that will be delivered to their inbox directly. Um, on top of that, we'll be creating campaigns to capture new leads. And say this means, you know, um, after we've gained their trust, we give them something for free, probably a free content in exchange for their email addresses. Then we build their trust through the mailing list. And once they're ready to buy, once they need it, once we sell them or send them an email that sells a product, it's easy for them to purchase it because they trust us.